Hi guys. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my experiences at Vans Warp Tour. I apologize in advance for any kind of background noise. Um, there is a road like kind of beside my room and I can hear it so you guys can probably hear it too. But there's a lot to get through and so I'm gonna get to it. As you may or may not know, I went to two of the dates on Warp Tour. The one was in Darien Lake, New York, and the other was in Scranton, PA. Some stories about the people that I met and what we talked about and all that stuff. So I guess first, Andrew Bizanti. If you don't know who he is, he's a musician, he's a YouTuber, he's really nice. Um, you can go check out his YouTube channel, Andrew Bizanti, um, and then there's um, LOL Byzanti, which is like an old one, I think. I, I, I don't really remember too much, but yeah, he makes music. He just released a new album. Um, go check it out. <laughs> I've known Andrew since last year, probably a little bit before that, but I met him last year, and every single time I went, I asked him if he would go see a concert with me. Um, last year he couldn't leave because he had to watch The Stand. This year I asked him, um, the first time I asked him in New York, I um, didn't really know the band, so he didn't really want to see them. But then he said, if you would have asked me to go see Never Shout Never, I would have went with you. So, in Scranton, I went up to the stand and asked Dakota if Andrew was there. And, um, because I was going to go ask him to see Never Shout Never. And he went back home that day because he was sick. So, I didn't get to go see Never Shout Never with him. I didn't get to say goodbye to him, but... It'll be alright, there's always next year. This person is Dakota Wint. He's also a YouTuber. If you don't know who he is, go watch him. He's probably the most inspiring, positive person out there. He's really nice. This year when I talked to him, I didn't really know who he was. But this year when I talked to him, it was a lot cooler because like I knew who he was and all that. And I could actually talk to him and like know him. Um, we talked about tattoos. I asked him if the one by his um, eye hurt, and he said no because I was thinking about getting that one, so I wanted to ask him and see if that hurt. I asked him about Andrew, and he said that he wasn't coming. Um, I was like, I was kind of disappointed because, like, I've been waiting to, like, go see a show with Andrew for, like, a long time, and so then I was about to leave, and I was like, so can I have a hug or whatnot and say goodbye? So then he hugged me, and it was really nice because it wasn't just, like, a bye hug. It was, like, a nice long hug. <laughs> My list is as it is. I met the whole band once in New York because the signing in Scranton was the line was already really long by the time we got there and also they were only meeting for 30 minutes so it was about out of the question uh, that I wasn't going to meet them again. I got all their signatures. I didn't really get to talk to each of them independently. I talked to Ben a little bit because he was running the merch stand in New York. Brings me on to Patty Walters. <laughs> I don't really where to begin with him. Um, it was just really crazy to meet um, the person that you look up to for the past five years in person. It was just really surreal and um, I don't even know what to say. First time I met him, it was kind of like a casual, I was really nervous, I didn't know like what to say. I just told him that he was amazing, that I was part of the street team. Um, I showed him my straight edge exes and he acknowledge that you've seen that in my last video but the second time in Scranton I made sure I got to his show very early I was right up in the front and I made him that little um, picture that you've seen in the last video um, I also wrote something on it which I might read in a video sometime later but the show was after the meet so I thought that I wasn't gonna see him again so my original plan was to read what was on the back of the paper to him but obviously I didn't get to do that so I gave him the note off of the stage like he was on stage like they're getting set up and everything me and Amanda just started um, yelling for him and then he's like one minute and then he like came over and he was like smiling and all that and then he um, handed him the note and he's like thanks and um, he put it in his pocket and Hopefully he likes it and stuff and I not really get to see his reaction or anything. I forgot about it when I seen him. When I seen him the second time, it was just him. He was just meeting a couple people. The line wasn't very long. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting in this line. So I went up to him and I was like still kind of nervous. I was like, hi. And then I was like, I want to take a really cool picture or a really awesome rad picture. I don't know what I said. He's like, he's like a rad picture. Okay. <laughs> so... 
I told him like how I wanted to do it. I'll insert this picture at the end because it's really cute. And we did that and then we went on um, and Amanda was telling him about how like I knew all the songs and everything and I said that I was his number one fan and that I um, like kind of like talk about them any chance that I get to like help promote them and also because they're just an awesome band and awesome people. He said thank you for that and we gave him one last hug and then we left and it was really cool because I don't know I was just like bye and then we like it was really neat but also we like made eye contact also I'll, t I'll put this little video at the end um and the end where he jumps down and sings dial tones he like he like gets right in my face just like dial tones <laughs> it's really cool I'll put that at the end too and Barry is also one of my favorite people um, I've known him almost as long as I've known about As It Is. I've discovered both of the bands on my own, so that's what makes the, them really special to me. Um, it was really cool to see Brayden on Warp Tour because he just grew so fast from when I first started see watching him and listening to his music, and I know like all of his songs too, and I didn't get to watch him the second time, but I got to meet him and I gave him a rose because his new album was Between the Roses, and I thought it would be really cute. So I put tags on I put Save You Can Fly and then I put Between the Roses and then I put my like link like um, at Chelsex Bay. So he said thank you for that. Social Repose slash Richie. If you don't know who that is, go look him up on Facebook or YouTube. So Social Repose. Really cool and really unique and he makes cool covers and awesome music. Go check him out. I was really surprised when I found out that he was there because he originally said he wasn't coming to there. He said he was going to the Pittsburgh one, which the Pittsburgh one is the one I missed. So I got to see him and that kind of made up for that um, lack of Richie. <laughs> By the time I seen him, I was like, it was after Pierce the Veil and I was drenched. Um, it was raining really hard. I was probably like looking like terrible. I have some pictures with him, which I'm not going to put on here because I look very bleh. <laughs> cool. We were both kind of like really awkward though. I told him um, that I didn't know that he was going to be there and all that stuff and took a picture with him and then I said I had to go see as it is. So of course all of the YouTubers. Of course are Johnny Gilbert, Brian Stars, Jordan Sweeto, and Damon Fizzy. Damon Fizzy before Meeting all the YouTubers was also very cool because like, you know, you see them on screens and then they're finally like right in front of your face and you just don't know what to say or anything. But actually, when I met Brian, um, nothing really too great happened. Um, I noticed how tall he was and it's really, I didn't know he was actually that tall. So Johnny Gilbert said something to me. I can't really, I don't, I didn't catch the first part of it. All I got was him going blue haired person or something like that like he kept going like this and he's like blue haired person it's like yeah I almost had the same hair color as Damon and then I met Damon and he's really cool and then I met Jordan and I don't think I really said anything to him oh he said um thanks for coming or something like that thanks for supporting us and now on to the blood sweat and tears so the second time I went to Warped in Scranton I there was this giant hill we had to climb because we were stupid and we parked like way down here and there's like a freaking literally like two and a half mile walk to Warp Tour. Up a mountain, like literally a mountain. And I got overheated and I lay down on the pavement. Some girl came up to me, she gave me her water. Um, luckily one of our friends that were with us had another friend that saw, seen us and gave us a ride up because I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> it felt really bad because not only did my friend Amanda have to walk up that hill by herself because there was enough room in the car, the same girl that gave me the water also had the same thing happen to her. She also got overheated and then she didn't have any water. Shout out to you. I hope that you're okay and I hope that you had a great time and thank you. So I can't see Pierce the Veil without some kind of medical problem going on. <laughs> First time I seen Pierce the Veil was on the world tour and I got overheated there and I had to go see the like EMT, is that what they're called, members? And I got all fixed up and went back out there. This time at Pierce the Veil, I, there was lots of crowd servers there and I got hit on the head by a crowd surfer and I um, got hit in the nose too or something like that because my nose started bleeding 
and I, my friend's like, your nose is your nose. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we had this rag. So I stuck this rag up my nose and I was still like <laughs> going ham and everything. It was crazy. First the veil, apparently the crowd like hates me. Favorite parts, um, my favorite concerts were probably As It Is and Simple Plan. Simple Plan has a song called Perfect and that song means a lot to me. It brings me back to good and bad memories and they played that song and it was just so emotional for me. I started bawling and then it started like pouring down rain which made it even more like emotional and now I cannot listen to that song without like tearing up. So don't ever play that song around me because I'll cry like a baby like I'm even getting like kind of emotional like saying about it. <laughs> I'm a freaking baby. My favorite parts definitely was the like passing out part. I that was never fun and also I always feel like I'm taking away from my friends this time I told them that they could go on without me but they didn't leave me there which I guess that's what good friends do. So that's the blood sweat and tears. <laughs> yes overall I've met really amazing people I've had really good and bad times. Warp Tour is a great experience if you've never have gone go. <laughs> this video is long but not only do I make these kind of videos for you, I also make them for myself so I can watch them back and remember all that went on that day and it's kind of like a video diary for me, so sorry if you didn't enjoy this, um, sorry. <laughs> One thing I do regret not doing, oh I kind of forgot to do it, but um, my favorite song in like the world is Upswing by As It Is and they didn't sing that song live so what my plan was was I just I was gonna just go up to Patty and start like singing it and like see if he like sung it with me and I would get on video and it'd been really cool but I forgot to do that and I almost want to go again just so I can do that and also to take their class him and Ben's class on like writing songs or something like that I, th I thought that would be cool but I don't have the time to do that or the money <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, it's really long. Sorry. If you didn't enjoy this video, sorry. See you guys later. Leave a comment telling me about your warp Tour experiences. Um, stay real. Cut. <laughs>